In today's video, we're going to be learning about Pythagorean Theorem. Many of you probably have seen this formula somewhere in math, but never knew what it was for. So this is what we're going to be talking about here, this a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So Pythagorean Theorem, or sometimes often heard as Pythagoras' Theorem, um, is named after a Greek mathematician, um, and he derived or came up with the formula to help us determine the length of the sides of a right angled triangle. So here we have a picture of a right angled triangle and remember right angled means that it has to have this symbol here that's showing that it's a right angle and remember that right angles have um, a measure of 90 degrees. So this is a 90 degree angle. So it, his theorem is going to help us figure out like how long this side is here or how long this side here or here. So to use Pythagoras' theorem, we have to first give the sides of our triangle some names so we can easily identify the parts of the triangle. So the sides of the triangle that are right next to this right angle are called legs. So here we have leg A and here we can have leg B. However, when we're deciding which leg is A and which leg is B, it doesn't really matter. Um, so for example, if we wanted to, we could have named this side leg A and this one here leg B. Now, the side that is directly across from the right angle is called a hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse always, always, always needs to be across from the right angle. And this is the most important side that we have to make sure we're putting in the right place in our formula. So the formula we have is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So the a that we have in this formula is the length of this side here, a. And the b that we have in our formula is the length of the side here, b. And our c is always going to be the hypotenuse. All right, so let's take a look at our first example here. We want to find the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle. So the hypotenuse, again, is this c here, which is directly across from this right angle. So our first step we want to do is we want to write down the formula. So our formula, again, is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now, we want to make sure that our c is always the hypotenuse, so we have to identify the hypotenuse, which is right here, and this is what's missing. So when we substitute the information into our formula, we're going to keep the c as c, because we don't know what it is yet, so c squared. Um, and then we want to substitute the values that we have for our legs, which is a and b, and the order does not matter. So for example here, I could say that this one is a, or it could be b, and this one could be a or b. So I'm just going to choose to have 5 as my a squared, so 5 squared plus 12 squared, and then 5 squared is 25, plus 144 is equal to c squared. So now we're going to want to do 25 plus 144, which gives us 169, which is equal to c squared. So now we want to find c by finding the square root of both sides. So we could, I'm going to put the square root of this and the square root of that. And then we have that c is equal to the square root of 169. So it's really good to have perhaps like your more perfect squares that one that we looked at the other day, um, available to you so that you could see it. So here I've got it here on the side and I'm gonna look for 169 and 169 is right here. And this is 12 squared. So this one here is, sorry, 11 squared, 12 squared. So this is 13 squared. So that means our C is equal to 13. Now, remember we could find, it could be the negative or positive value, but because we're talking about the length of the side, it doesn't make sense for it to be negative. So our hypotenuse is 13 and we want to include units. So it's this here is now 13 meters. So here are two try questions for you to pause the video and try out. And I want to just draw your attention to number two here. Yes, we have fractions. We have two over five and three over 10, but if we wanted to square those numbers, so for example, if we did two over five squared, you should know that this is 2 over 5 times 2 over 5, which is 4 over 25. All right, so taking a look at example 2, what we want to do here is find the length of a leg. So if we look at this triangle, we see here that um, this is a side that we don't know, and it's a side that's next to this right angle. 
um, and we know this leg here, and this side here is directly across from that right angle, so this is the hypotenuse. So first step is to write our formula, so a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, and I always substitute my hypotenuse first so that I put it in the right place. So my hypotenuse is 2.9, so I've got in instead of c, I'll substitute that for 2.9, and that's going to be squared. Um, and then I'll leave a as a, so a squared and plus b squared, which is 2.1, so 2.1 squared. So now I'm just going to figure out what those squares are, so a squared plus 2.1 squared. So if I look at my chart here, this is going from 11 all the way down to 20, so 21 squared is 441, so 2.1 squared is going to be 4.41. So plus 4.41 is equal to 2.9, so if I look at my chart again, this one would be, here this one would be 30, so 2.9 would be 841, so 8.41. So I've got 8.41, and then from here I'm going to subtract 4.41 from both sides, and I get a squared is equal to 4, so I'll find the square root of both sides, and I get that a is equal to 2. So we just figured out what a is, and I'll put my units up here just so we can see it. So this is going to be 2, and it's centimeters. And just something to note when you're doing these problems, the hypotenuse, so the side directly across from that right angle, always has to be the longest side. So, for example, if we got this A and we found out that it was, for example, 4 centimeters, we know we would have done something wrong because this always has to be the longest side. Alright, so here are two more try questions for you. We want to find the length of the missing side of the triangle, so we're finding this B here and this A here. So remember, the most important thing is you want to correctly identify the hypotenuse. So take a moment to pause the video and try these two questions out. In our third example, we're going to be looking at finding the missing length when we're looking at a 3D shape. So the question here is saying find the slant height of the square pyramid. So this is a square based pyramid because there's a square on the bottom and we have a pyramid. So notice that this pyramid has, if we think of the center of the pyramid going straight down to the center of the base of this um, pyramid, and then it would be this point right here is right in the middle of that square, and then this is going to go from the center to the edge of the pyramid and it's going to go to the edge at a 90 degree angle. So what happens is it forms the slant height here. So what we're trying to do is find the length of the slant height. So this actually forms a right angle triangle inside. So all we have to do is use Pythagoras' theorem again. So again, we're going to write down our formula, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Substitute our values. Um, again, it doesn't matter which one is which because what we're looking for is the slant height, which is the hypotenuse. So I can put 6.4 or 4.8 in a different order. It doesn't matter. So 6.4 squared plus 4.8 squared is equal to c squared. And if you're seeing, I'm using these parentheses here um, just because I want to make sure that I know that this whole thing is squared and I don't accidentally do 4 squared. So 6.4 squared is going to give me 40.96 and 4.8 squared is 23.04 is equal to c squared. The sum of those two is 64, which is equal to c squared. I will find the square root of both sides. And the square root of 64 is 8, so c is equal to 8. And if we're talking with the units, we can say 8 inches, and this is our answer. And again, we can double check here to make sure this is um, correct, because the hypotenuse always has to be the longest side. So here this is 4.8, here this is 6.4, and then if this is 8, this is still the longest side, so this hypotenuse is the longest, which is a, a good way to just double check that we did this correctly. So here are your last two try questions for this video. We want to find x, so we're finding the slant height of these 3D shapes.